In today's video, I'll be telling you 10 reasons why you should consider becoming a pilot. After watching the video, you will know what are the perks, benefits and plus points of becoming a pilot and it may also get you interested in becoming one. So if you are ready, fasten those seat belts because we are ready for takeoff. What's up fellow viewers and welcome back to the Flytuber, flying simplified through YouTube. My name is Ali Asghar and on this channel I talk about interesting aviation facts and aircraft knowledge. So if you are an aviation enthusiast and are interested to know more about aircrafts, aviation and flying, consider subscribing. Let's jump to the points straight away. Number 10. Fresh faces every day. In a regular 9 to 5 of his job, you get to see the same boring and irritating face of your shouting boss or the same faces of your colleagues and co-workers while in aviation you get to meet new people and get to see new faces each and every day to start off with. You get to fly with the different captains or co-pilots each and every day because no two pilots are paired up together each and every day. On top of that, the set of cabin crew that you fly with keep changing each and every day and even on a same single day, you meet different ground staff and flight engineers because they are different for different airports that you fly to. And obviously, you get to meet new people because the passengers to fly keep also changing, right? Point number nine, you will improve a lot of skills while becoming a pilot. There's a lot of technical information about aircraft, its operations and how it gets airborne, etc. that you will study while you're training. And moreover, English is the language of aviation and all the communications, etc. is done in English. So if you weren't fluent enough at English, you surely will become because it's a mandatory thing. Another important point here is physical fitness. If you weren't physically fit already, then chances are that you'll have to get fit because pilots are annually checked for their medical fitness. Pilots undergo a lot of training and testing of emergency handling situations and that is another important skill that you will learn and most important thing to take here is that you will learn how not to panic in pressure situations. Point number eight, show off in front of people and on social media. Yes, I know that this may sound a little bit straightforward, but this is no hidden fact that everybody loves people in uniform because it gives a sense of responsibility and discipline. But moreover, there are a few uniforms that stand out and pilots are one of them. I also admit that even we pilots like posting our pictures in uniforms or you know meeting passengers in aircrafts because uh, let's look at the seventh point here so that we know why it is this way. Point number seven, being a pilot is highly respected job. We are highly respected because firstly, we are very uncommon. Most people barely even know a single pilot in their entire family and friends. The same case was with me. I never knew a single pilot before I stepped into this field. Being a pilot is very uncommon because of the simple fact that there are a very few pilots. One of my friends got his license recently. The number was about 17,200 something, which means he was 17,200th pilot ever in India. Now compare this with the number of IIT aspirants and candidates who appeared this year which was more than 6.5 lakh even after a 7% drop in registrations when compared to each and every year because of the coronavirus. Being a pilot is also highly respected because there is a lot of difficult training and testing that a pilot keeps undergoing each and every year or twice a year in most cases. Another reason why we are highly respected is the responsibility. We are responsible for 180 lives to even 500 lives that sit behind us. Now let me put it this way without disrespecting and underrating the sensitivity of being a doctor. But the line goes, if a doctor makes a mistake, it will cost one life. But if a pilot makes a mistake, it will cost hundreds of lives. So I think this point number seven pretty much justifies the previous point number eight. Point number six, short course duration. While becoming a doctor can take you anywhere from six to 10 years. And even if you want to become an engineer, lawyer, designer, etc., will need three to four years of bachelor's degree plus an additional two years of master's degree. Pilot training has no fixed duration. And if you play your cards right and you are smart enough and you do enough hard work, you can get your license in as less as 18 months. Although you also need a little bit of luck in your bag because I have seen certain people who take as much as six to even up to eight years to get their license. I personally took two years from scratch all the way up to landing a job in an airline. 
Number 5. Early start. Most of the non-aviation degrees and courses require you to at least have passed class 12th even if you want to start the degree or course. But did you know that you can start your pilot training as early and as soon as you have cleared your class 10th? Yes, you can start the pilot training once you have passed your class 10th but to get a flying license out of the many more requirements, one of the requirements is that you need to pass your class 12th. Also, you need to be 18 years of age and above. So for your clarity, there are many people who are so passionate and so clear of becoming a pilot that they start their training as soon as they pass their class 10th. But they submit their papers to get the license once they pass their class 12th. You can't do this in another fields, right? Point number four, travel around the world. Pilots get to fly to amazing destinations. If you're flying for a domestic or regional airline, you get to explore different cities of your own country. And if you're flying internationally, then you can knock off a lot of countries of your bucket list that you always wanted to visit. All of this while you're getting paid, plus the hotel and food bills are all on the airlines. Yes, I'm talking about those layovers. Thanks to these amazing layovers away from your home city or from your home country, all of this just seems like a small little sponsored vacation, right? But don't get me wrong, this all differs from airline to airline. There are a few airlines who have very less layovers. Point number three, free or cheap travel. All the amazing things that I mentioned above were all while you are on duty. But apart from that, you get to fly free or on very, very cheap and discounted rates. And I'm talking about at least 60% of discount. Some airlines even require you just to settle the airport taxes and a very nominal airline fare of 10%. And mostly this facility also extends to your family and or friends depending on airline to airline. This is however limited to 12 to 16 tickets per year for example. Point number two, salary. It's no hidden fact that pilots are paid awesome salaries. And on top of that, they also get good bonuses and allowances etc. For further information, go and check my previous video on pilot salaries. The link will be coming up here and also I'll put them down in the description. And the top reason why you should consider becoming a pilot is the experience itself. Starting from the interesting flying theory, everybody has studied Newton's third law in their school days. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. But when you actually go out there and look at this law of physics being applied on an actual jet engine aircraft, and when you learn how this huge metal tube gets airborne with all that heavy weight of aircraft, passengers, luggage, crew, fuel, etc. Oh boy, I can't explain that amazing feeling you get, that amazing satisfaction as soon as all this sinks in. Also, the actual flying itself is very interesting. The views you get to see from the cockpit each and every day, you won't be getting any such views in a regular 9 to 5 office job. The thrill of controlling an aircraft, performing all sorts of different maneuvers especially while you are flying training and those silky smooth buttery landings. The satisfaction you get after performing one of those is simply unexplainable. I think I should shut up because I am already missing flying a lot. So those were my personal picks of top 10 reasons why you should consider becoming a pilot. But before I close the video, let me remind you of a famous quote, every coin has two sides to it. And so is the case with aviation. Although it might sound a lot more glamorous, it has a lot of downsides to it. So stay tuned to the channel because in my follow up and my very next video, I'll be explaining and telling you the top 10 reasons why you should consider not becoming a pilot. I'll also link that video up here and in the description once I have made the video. Question of the day, which one of the above mentioned reasons were you attracted to the most and you think that that is the reason that might drive and motivate you to become a pilot? Well, that's it for this video guys. If you like the content, smash that like button and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already and also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos and many more to come. Also, do share the channel and video to all of your friends. It does help a lot. Let's meet up and discuss the downsides of being a pilot in the upcoming video. Until then, take care. Happy landings.